Donald Trump has decided that he is going to continue to push the limits of the gag order placed on him earlier this week by judge Juan Merchant, And he's doing it by repeatedly and psychotically basically attacking the judge's daughter. In one of his most recent attacks, Donald Trump actually mentioned her by name saying this. Judge Juan Merchant is totally compromised and should be removed from this Trump non case immediately. His daughter, Lauren is a rabid Trump hater who has admitted to having conversations with her father about me. And yet he gagged me. She works for crooked Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Adam shifty Schiff, and other radical leftists who campaign on getting Trump and fundraise off the Biden indictments, including this witch hunt, which her father presides over a total conflict and attacking Biden's political opponent through the courts. Now she is president and partner at authentic, uh, campaigns is the name of it. And yes, uh, Merchant's daughter has in fact worked on campaigns for Kamala Harris, Adam Schiff, and several other Democrats. However, that in no way has any bearing on this case or the facts of this case. Trump is trying to use that to gin up hate for this woman among his rabid base because he knows what happens when he attacks people. They get death threats. They get all kinds of threats. And sometimes every now and then somebody tries to do something. Donald Trump is trying to intimidate this judge by attacking his family. And contrary to what some people have been saying on social media this week, no, this actually does not violate the gag order. I have seen multiple very large accounts on Twitter actually saying he's violating the gag order. Unfortunately, no, he's not. The gag order does not include Alvin Bragg. The gag order does not include judge Juan merchant, and it does not include the families of either of those individuals. It includes witnesses. It includes prospective jurors. It includes people working for the court, but not the two big people for some reason. Now the judge could in fact go ahead and slap an additional gag order on Donald Trump, which I think he should do. But I think the judge is hesitant to do that because Donald Trump is trying to use the limited gag order as a rallying cry for his base. If he puts another gag order on Trump, his base is going to go nuts, like totally insane, more psychotic than Trump is right now. And the judge is of course, rightfully terrified of that not just for what could happen to him, but what could happen to his family. So the judge is trying to be cautious, but in trying to be cautious, he is creating more problems. So it's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place at this point. Like there's no good solution to what you can do because yeah, you can slap him with a gag order. You can threaten to hold him in contempt. If he violates that stick him in jail for a couple of days, you have the authority to do that. But he knows if he does that, we could have riots on our hands. And that is actually what extremism experts have been telling us for quite some time now with these trials against Donald Trump. So there's not really a good solution here for the judge. And it's easy for us when we're not in those situations to sit back and say, he should just do this. He should just do that. Yeah. Well, when it's your family, when it's your own safety on the line, it's a lot harder to make those decisions folks. So we've got to keep that in mind, right? We got to kind of keep a level head, put ourselves in that position as well. Cause again, easy to sit here and say what the judge should do. Totally different situation when you're the one that has to make those decisions and deal with the consequences. But Trump is trying to get this judge to do something wrong. That's the whole point of this. He wants the judge to get so mad that he screws up, which of course would allow Donald Trump an easy Avenue for appeal. Once he gets convicted, because I think even Trump's people understand a conviction is likely in this case, given the jurisdiction, like not even just based on the facts, the facts alone should uh, get you a conviction. The jurisdiction is pretty much definitely guaranteeing that, but Trump knows what he's doing. He's doing this intentionally and he's doing it to either cause harm to these people or to get the judge to screw up so that he can easily appeal it and get a conviction overturned.